This program is brought to you by Computer Republic Read TI Advertising Sign Markers Light Shipping Corporation Light Ferries At this juncture, we have now come to one of the most awaited parts of our competition tonight, and that is the preliminary interview. The criteria for judging for the best in interview are as follows. Intelligence and wit, 10%. Spontaneity, 10%. And relevance, 10% for a total of 30%. Now, this is exciting because now we'll know a bit more about our candidates' respective advocacies. Before the candidate explains further their respective advocacy, let's focus on the screen to watch a very short AVP showing their individual advocacies. Yes, by explaining further the relevance and importance of the respective advocacy, this portion will definitely justify the significance of the proposed project and of course this part will also test their personalities and confidence as well. By the way, the participating LGUs represented by the winning candidates for this year's Miss Bohol 2018 will receive a cash prize to fund the candidates advocacy project so then let's begin the preliminary All right, interview. let's start, ladies and gentlemen. Let's call on candidate number one. Yes, candidate number one, Ms. Baklayon. Hello, Ms. Baklayon. Good evening. Now, before we ask you your question, let's watch your advocacy. Open defecation leads to serious health problems. By providing proper comfort rooms in Panalapan Island, we are not only protecting the oceans and soil from E. coli, but also we protect and improve health and sanitation. Cleanliness in the community should start in every home. Hi, Ms. Bakleon. How are you feeling tonight? I feel great. Wonderful. Okay, so your question, actually your advocacy is about providing comfort rooms in Pamilakan Island, is that correct? Yes. So my question for you is, how can you educate the community about the importance of cleanliness, especially in Pamilakan Island? We can educate them through seminars and information drives, and we should also employ, we should also employ beneficial and practical innovations that could make them realize about the importance of cleanliness in their surroundings and the protection of their environment. Such example is my advocacy, which is providing them comfort rooms that will not only protect the environment, but will also improve the health and sanitation of the community in the island. Thank you very much, Ms. Thank Baclayon. Thank you so much. Candidate number one, Ms. Baclayon. It's your turn, candidate number two, Miss Sikatuna. Miss Sikatuna, maayong gabi. So right now, let's take a look at your advocacy. Environmental conservation through solid waste management. We believe this will lead to community development through ecotourism and other economic ventures. This will start through awareness. Thus, we want to launch an extensive environmental education to my fellow Sikatunanan to promote the ecological balance through proper solid waste segregation at all. All right, candidate number two, Ms. Sikatuna, your advocacy is environmental conservation through solid waste management. Now, do you agree that solid waste management should be developed in Bohol for sustainable development? Yes, I do agree. Simply because it is let it, it is also helping letting our future generation to experience and feel the true essence of nature. We all know that Bahal is very rich in natural resources that could be a source of an outlet or an outlet to be a source of income as well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, candidate number two. Candidate number two, we move on to candidate number three, Miss Sevilla. Hello, 
Hello, Miss Sevilla. How are you? I'm feeling great and I'm quite nervous, but thankful for everything. Wonderful. So let's watch your advocacy video. My advocacy adopt a hunger plate project aims to uplift the nutritional status of the children by providing them a plate of nutritious meal and use it as a platform to educate their parents and promote proper nutrition. I firmly believe that together we can save a child's health and definitely we can make a difference, one plate at a time. Okay, so your advocacy is about uplifting nutritional status of children. So your question is, what factors contribute to malnutrition in children and how can you advocate for the elimination of malnutrition? Malnutrition is one of the major problems in our country. Well, in fact, one of the factors that contribute to malnutrition is that the lack of basic knowledge towards the parents on proper nutrition and how they feed their children. And I would like to advocate this by a simple thing that by feeding the children, both the children and the parents, with the hope that they come to realize the significance of eating right and proper nutrition. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Sevilla. Thank you so much. We move on to candidate number four, Ms. Bilar. Mayung Gabi, candidate Mayung number Gabi. four. So before we ask you your question, let's take a look at your advocacy. Pasiga Gikan sa Basura Project. Sustainable energy for a sustainable Bohol. My vision as a young Bolanon engineer. I want to create energy solutions for the community by converting bio waste to clean energy. Brighter homes for a brighter future. All right, Pasiga Gikan sa Basura. Now, candidate number four, you are a petroleum engineer by profession. Wow. Now, and your advocacy is about providing green energy. Now, how can this impact the community? Sustainable energy through sustainable sanitation is the core of my advocacy, Pasiga Gikan sa Basura, which translates to Pailao Galing sa Basura, which is also in line with the vision of Bohol to become a prime eco-cultural destination. Not only does it eliminate smelly, biodegradable waste, but it also provides glee, green, clean power. So come to think of it, we're hitting two birds with one stone. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so very much, much Miss Candidate Bilar. number four. Now please take the center stage, candidate number five, Miss Salibon. Hello, Miss Salibon. Good evening. So before we give your question, let's watch your advocacy video. My advocacy is to help others who have passion in dancing. I am a member of Dance Sports Team Cebu City and I am very happy every time I perform because this is where my heart belongs. And if this happiness can contribute to the society, then I'll be more than willing to share it to others. Transforming our youth through dance. So that's your advocacy. So my question is, sorry, why did you choose dance as a channel to help transform the lives of the youth? Again, why did you choose dance as a channel to help transform the lives of the youth? Thank you so much for that question. Now, ladies and gentlemen, dancing is not just my advocacy. Dancing happens to be my life. Dancing is not just something who has movements. Dancing happens to be the reason why I'm so confident here in front of you. Now, pertaining to your question, why I chose dancing. I chose this as my advocacy because I know that this is not just something that I will write on a paper just to be just my advocacy. I know that this is something that I can implement because for the, inf for the information of everyone, my partner when I had my talent night is already starting having workshops in Taliban 
which is my hometown, and also in Tubigon. And I want that to show to the world that Bulanons are not just Bulanons with, with, with outstanding and versatile leaders, but also talented youth or people. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, candidate number five. Thank you so much. We move on. This program is brought to you by Read TI Advertising Sign Markers, Computer Republic, Light Shipping Corporation, Light Ferries.